What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Just Falls. We back at it again with another video, and today we're looking at some more Wanted Dead. It's getting closer to release. It's releasing on Valentine's Day, February fourteenth, and um, they're putting out more trailers. So this is the finishers trailer. The finishers, I'm assuming, is when you got the enemy stunned and you, you know, you do a little fancy animation to take them out. So um, we're gonna check it out. So without further ado, let's get to the video. Can't hear oh, my headphone up. When you have to kill, finishers and explain. One of Dead sir. features over 50 unique finishing hey. moves that took over 100 hours of motion hey. capture and a group of dedicated stuntmen to put together. Hey. The takedowns explode in variety and feature situational kills, environmental hazards, and unique takedowns created for specific enemies. Excuse me. Where else That's in the bird. world would you be able to drive a pickaxe through someone's skull? Sheesh. Even though the finishing moves well, add to the visual the variety of, of the on-screen mayhem, they serve a tactical purpose too. Replenishing lost health. It's not as easy as press X to win, but the players will soon find out that executing takedowns will help them progress through the game and make certain encounters beatable. Mm. Hannah's ultimate attack, unlocked very early on in the game, will help the players stack up staggered enemies and execute chain finishers that can take down an entire room full of enemies. Here's how finishing strikes work. Each enemy in Wanted Dead has an invisible stamina bar. Melee enemies usually have more stamina than ranged fighters. The stamina bar depletes slowly as enemies are being damaged. Once the stamina hits zero, the enemy enters the staggered animation and can be executed by the player. Last moment parries with the sword or sidearm automatically drain the stamina. This is when you want to go. So it's kind of like the the poise meter, or the com, or the composure meter, whatever you call it, in uh in in uh like Sekiro. Once you break their composure or poise or whatever, they enter a very vulnerable state, to which you can finish them off or deliver massive damage. This game, you just finish them off. Go in for the kill. Wanted Dead uses a smart system of triggering finishing animations. Mm. First, the algorithm looks for a possibility of an environmental. I like how she um she could do that little side step, and you see her after image. That's fire. I love any any type any game where it's like where you can see that. Or a situational kill using the enemy's own weapon, or a basic finishing move that is not tied to any specific condition. Okay. The algorithm also ensures that you have a visual variety, constantly rotating the takedowns. The finishing moves are not only visceral and gorgeous looking, they serve a combat purpose as well. Leaving some enemies staggered is a clever technique to clear out the room and replenish lost health. We had a lot of fun making these available to the players, and we hope I you will tell. have a lot of fun slicing and dicing through Wanted Dead. Wanted Dead, y'all. You can pre-order it now. I wonder if it's gonna be 60 or 70, I don't know. Get a little something at the end? No. We we looked at this too if y'all wanna go check out my uh reaction to this. Um, but yeah. I wonder if it's gonna be sixty or seventy. Let's look because if we usually when you Google it you can see it on Steam and then it'll show the price. But uh, Okay, it's not showing the price. So I'm guessing this game's probably gonna be sixty, but it might be seventy. Either way I'm buying it, so we'll see. So Shout out to Solel and 110 Industries. We could see other games they made. They made this other game, Space Runaway, which is a uh, side-scrolling shooter. And um, I'm pretty sure they made other stuff. Yeah, like the publisher. I'm, sorry, I'm pretty sure the publisher has been yeah, involved in other stuff. Oh, Shinobi Strikers. And then this game called Rock Shot. Okay. This is where they get it from. Okay. This is where they get it from. All right. Because this game came out in June 2018. So they probably just took this engine right here from this game, Rock Shot. It looks just exactly the same. Yeah, they took they took the engine from Rock Shot. And then they took it. They bought it to one to like, yo, we need a crazy over the top action. And here we go. Because this one, this one looks a bit more stiff and derivative, but... You could tell it's in the same it's, it's in the same engine. I'm pretty sure these games are on the same on the same engine. You got guns, you got swords, you got over the top animations. Okay, now I get it. Now I get it. See, game developers are smart. Game developers are really smart. I like this. I might even check this game out. It's in 
it's in, still in early access, which is weird, but I don't know. Um, yeah, so definitely, definitely, this game is a must, is a must cop for me because it's one of those games right up my alley. Action adventure, hack and slash. I could turn my brain off, play it, finish it in eight to ten hours, move on to the next game. I love games like that. So, okay, um, y'all let me know. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Are you copping this game? Are you gonna pass? You gonna wait till twenty dollars? What's up? Let me know. So, y'all already know the vibes. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. This was your boy, Justice False, and we out. One.